Sky has been an interesting addition to the Valorant roster. This is the first Initiator agent we are getting post-launch, and she is bringing some quirky but unique abilities into the game. Look no further because today we are going to be breaking down what makes Sky one of the best initiators and more in this video. What is up, ProGuides family? I am your host, Sergeant Frost, and today we finally have our everything you need to know about Sky Guide. But before we get into the video, you guys know what time it is. That's right, it's time for our question of the day. Today's question pertains to the recent patch 1.11 changes. Do you think that the nerfs to the Sentinels, Killjoy, and Cypher will slowly make Valorant more attacker sided? Personally, I think that the reason Riot targeted all the Sentinels with nerfs over the past few months was because of the statistics that all the maps in Valorant were becoming too defender sided. I think with these fresh set of nerfs combined with Sky's addition into the game will make attacking considerably easier going forward. Time will tell how this new meta will settle now that Sentinels got hit with nerfs alongside with Sky being added into the game. But tell us in the comments section down below what your opinions are on the new nerfs to Killjoy and Cypher. Now let's get right into the video explaining Sky's abilities. Sky's signature ability is Guiding Light, and boy is this thing powerful when used right. Guiding Light is unique for flashes in Valorant because you are able to purchase three charges of this ability at 100 credits each. Guiding Light will equip a Hawk Trinket and you can fire to send it forward. While in flight, this Hawk will follow the direction of your crosshair. You can reuse this ability while it's in flight to activate the flash. The Hawk will also make an audible sound cue when the flash properly detonates. There are two things to mention about Guiding Light that you will need to know to use this ability properly and not constantly flash your teammates. The first thing is Guiding Light's Hawk is able to be shot and destroyed. If it is destroyed before you can reactivate this ability, it will not detonate its flash. Even though this Hawk is small and flies fast, knowing that it can be destroyed should make you use this ability wisely. The second thing you should know about Guiding Light is that this ability has a time management bar. After it is activated, this bar will decrease from 4 seconds down to 0. If you do not activate this ability and detonate the flash before the allotted time runs out, the Hawk will disappear and no flash effect will occur. This is a very useful tip to know about Guiding Light, because I have seen too many players try to fly her Hawk across the map and not realize that this thing does not have an infinite range for flying. If it did, that would be pretty OP and it would make Guiding Light the strongest flash ability in the game. I must admit, Guiding Light is a very difficult ability to control and use effectively at first. It will take a lot of practice and trial and error to get the hang of this thing and actually start blinding your enemies and not your teammates. In my opinion, Guiding Light is the reason Sky is classed as an initiator and a very good one at that. You can use this ability from far away and control its movements with precision, and this will allow you to blind enemies around corners and from behind cover. Unlike Breach, Phoenix, and Reyna's flashes where you need to put yourself in a bad position to be blinded by it, this flash is kind enough to come to you and flash you wherever you stand. Sky has only been out for a short amount of time now, and I can already tell that the skill gap with Sky will be using her flash quickly and to the best of your ability. Another cool thing to know about Guiding Light is that you can still move at regular speed while casting this ability. This makes for some cool, aggressive plays where you can treat this ability almost like a pop flash from CSGO, and you can use it around corners and immediately peek after it detonates. Sky can stand behind her team and send her Hawk out first before entering a site to flash anyone close by. This will allow her team to immediately run in after the flash pops, and frag out defenders before the flash effect has time to wear off. This ability is extremely powerful when mastered, and is one of the tools in her kit that makes her a strong initiator and a very strong attacker when mastered. If you want more help learning about how you can improve your Sky skills in Valorant, make sure to check out ProGuides.com. You can quickly upload your gameplay VODs on our website, and we have coaches online 24-7 who will get back to you and help you on your journey towards improving in Valorant. ProGuides.com will teach you the necessary skills to rank up faster, enjoy the game more, and receive premium help from our online coaches. You can book a session whenever you need it according to your schedule. No more time being stuck in your ELO. Head over to ProGuides.com to begin your journey to the rank of your dreams. Speaking of abilities that make Sky a tier 1 initiator, let's talk about her Trailblazer ability. Trailblazer equips a Tasmanian Tiger Trinket. Fire to send it out and take control of the Predator. While the control, fire this ability to leap forward. Upon hitting an enemy, this ability will release a concussive blast and will damage directly hit enemies. Trailblazer has one charge and costs 200 credits. Sky's Trailblazer is a great ability to start off fights with a bang. In my opinion, Trailblazer is a scouting tool better used for intel gathering, hunting down people, and pushing players off of an angle that they were holding. This ability is effectively a better version of Sova's drone because it moves faster, can concuss players, and can do damage to them if you leap onto them and make direct contact. The only downsides to this ability that makes it not as effective at spotting people like Sova's drone is that Predator has a very low field of view and poor visibility when using it. The Predator also has a very short timer for being active at 5 seconds. When you activate the ability, you can see the time of use bar at the bottom of your screen. Also, this Predator Tiger makes a lot of noise when it travels around the map, so it is prone to be shot at and destroyed before it can leap onto someone and do its job. While Trailblazer has a high probability of being destroyed, when you are able to use the ability to its fullest potential, it can win rounds easily. 
Employ this ability to scout out sites for nearby players, and use it when you're in a pinch and need to push an enemy off a nearby angle that you want to clear. Trailblazer is a great ability at feeding your team info, gaining map control, and incapacitating enemies. This ability is always cost effective and worth buying, especially when you have the credits to purchase it. Now on to one of the most controversial abilities in Sky's kit, Regrowth. Regrowth equips a healing trinket. You hold fire to channel this ability and you can heal allies in range and in line of sight of you. This ability costs 200 credits and can be reused until her healing pool is depleted. It is also in your best interest to remember that Sky cannot heal herself with this ability, only her teammates, and her healing pool does not recharge. Many people complained when Sky was revealed that the community did not want another healer in the game. Many players are just now getting used to playing the game without the main healer Sage, and most of the Valorant community is in favor of healer-less matches. Riot learned their lesson this time around when it came to balancing the game around healers and they put checks and balances in this ability to make sure it's not too strong. First off, Sky cannot heal herself, which balances this ability and prevents her from becoming a one-man army with an infinite health pool. Secondly, you must be in range and in line of sight of her while she uses this ability to be healed. It is also worth noting that this ability heals a lot slower than a Sage heal would. And lastly, this ability has to be bought as it is not free. And you have a one-time use healing pool on this ability and it does not recharge. In my opinion, this ability is not as bad as some people want to believe it is. Riot did a good job of making sure her heal was not overtuned and that it wouldn't be the main focus of her kit. Sky is still an initiator first and not a main healer. Her heal is meant to regen teammates' health pools after a skirmish or a push. This ability is not meant to full heal all of her teammates multiple times in a single round. Also, you have to actively use this ability to heal teammates as it is not passive. You will be disarmed while using it, so make sure you are smart about when you activate it so you are not caught off guard. Regrowth is a great team enabling ability that comes in handy on offense and defense to make sure your teammates health is topped off after fights. Sky would not be a true initiator unless she had a global ultimate. Her ultimate equips a Seeker's Trinket. Fire it to send out three Seeker Spirits to track down the three closest enemies. If one of your Seekers manages to successfully hit a target, it will nearsight them. This ultimate ability costs 6 points and the duration of Seeker Spirits is unknown. This is a very powerful ultimate if used at the right time. Many people may think that Seeker Spirits are weak because they can be shot and destroyed easily and move at a slow pace, but nonetheless this is a very powerful ultimate for its cost of 6 ultimate points. I've already talked about the downsides of this ultimate, being that the spirits move kind of slow compared to the speed of the rest of Sky's abilities, and this ult can be shot and destroyed fairly easily. But to circumvent this ability's weaknesses, you have to use her ult when you are in close proximity of an enemy that you know the location of. In my opinion, don't use this ult in a fashion where you let the spirits go and find enemies for you and you follow behind it. You should pop your ult when you are close to or on a site and you know where the enemies are. This will give the enemies less time to run away or shoot the ability to cancel it. And when you play off your seekers when you know where an enemy is, it will give you crucial time to swing on an enemy and shoot at them when they are distracted by your ultimate. You have to use this ability proactively and not reactively to make sure you get the full effectiveness of the fear that this ultimate causes when it's used. There is no better feeling in post-plant than to activate this ability and know exactly where all the enemies are that are close by. In the end, use this ability when you need to and not when you want to, and you will always find the results you are looking for. Moving into style of play, Sky is a true initiator at her core, but she has a unique style of play because of the types of abilities she has in her kit. As we move into a new meta for Act 3, you will find Sky filling a role that Breach previously did for his team. A lot of her abilities are long ranged and have crowd control effects that you can use to set up fights for your teammates. Sky, like Breach, will likely be in the back of the stack when pushing a site to allow for her to send her flashes, trailblazer, and ultimate out in front of her team. She also needs to prioritize staying alive so that she can make use of her regrowth heal to facilitate her team's health pools after fights and skirmishes. Because of her utility heavy kit and initiator playstyle, she will usually find the most success when on the attacking side of the map. This is because her abilities play into facilitating her team on pushes and in post plant. This will put the enemies at a disadvantage that try to hide in sight and let the attackers come to them. Like we said earlier in style of play, Sky's kit will be most useful on attack, so the team comp you build around her should take advantage of her initiator capabilities. For this team comp, you will want agents that can play off your flashes and trailblazer to follow in behind your abilities to pick up frags. This comp consists of Sky, Phoenix, Reyna, Omen, and Cypher. Phoenix and Reyna are aggressive entry frags that can play off of Sky's flashes and swing corners and rush into a site while enemies are blind. Their aggressive tendencies allow for them to play off of a flash or trailblazer or even secret spirits and swing on enemies who are CC'd. Omen brings smokes and a nearsight flash to this comp to bring even more vision denying capabilities. This will allow Sky to use her abilities without them getting destroyed instantly. Cypher as per usual is a sentinel who can watch your flank and provide intel for your team to help you further scout out a site before pushing in and committing. This comp is designed for each agent to specifically interact with and follow in behind Sky's abilities and play off the CC in her kit. For our final thoughts on Sky, she is a unique agent in her own right. She is an initiator with a lot of crowd control on her abilities, three powerful flashes, and an AoE heal. 
She'll serve many different roles in a traditional comp from entrying to utility dumping to healing. But at her core, her playstyle will revolve around you helping your team break and enter into a site. And on defense, she will be utility dumping her abilities to stall pushes and hold onto a site for as long as possible. After the recent nerfs to Sentinels, Killjoy, and Cypher, there is now room in meta team comps for Sky to fill the role as a team facilitator. Her playstyle will be similar to Breach, but she has more responsibility for keeping her team alive via her heals. Time will tell how Sky will affect the meta and how she will impact both pro play and rank games. Until then, she is in a great place right now balance wise and everyone should pick her up and learn her before Riot does change her any further. Well everyone, that's all we have for everything to know about Sky. If you liked the video then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. We upload new videos just like this one every single day and the best way to stay notified of that is by ringing that notification bell. Don't forget to check out ProGuys.com to gain some access to some truly amazing coaching. Remember to stay safe out there and I will see you all again very soon.